and welcome back to another player review on my channel. Now today we have got the 91 rated base icon Pele, the absolute god. This time last year I was nowhere near able to afford this man, so thank god we are this year. I think I only reviewed him in like June or July last year on FIFA 21, so this is absolutely huge for me. I cannot wait to try the card out. So if you do enjoy today's play review, you know what to do, smash the thumbs up button. If you are new around here, please do subscribe to the channel. Now, Pele, looks like an absolute god, but comes with a massive price tag. I did pick him up for 2.64 million, but I think he's going for a bit more than that now. Let's just double check. Yeah, about 2.8, so I got him for a right bargain, to be honest. Um, and that's one of the reasons I did pick him up because I've wanted to try him for quite a while after a review of Ronaldinho I thought I want to review Pele but now came the time now he's got five star skills four star weak foot he's right footed high medium weight rate and he is five foot eight and as I said he goes for about 2.8 million coins which is absolute shit ton on this game isn't it and um, his pace is absolutely ridiculous 94 94 brilliant his shooting category is absolutely stat lads and um, apart from the shot power which is only 84 I say only 84 is all right but you know Thinking of Pele and that shooting category, 84, I think it should be 86 or higher personally, but obviously this is his base card, lad, uh, so it's his worst version. Now, passing stats, pretty phenomenal. He only has 81 curve, but he does have the finesse shot trait, so you know what that means. It's 99 curve every time he kicks the ball at the goal, if you use finesse shot. So that's absolutely brilliant. But his passing stats for a striker are pretty phenomenal, aren't they? I mean... 85 long pass and 89 short pass is ridiculous, with 91 vision as well, unreal. I will get to the dribbling stats and it is one of, if not the best uh, category on this card. 97 agility, 94 balance, 92 reactions, 93 ball control lads. Do you want to take control of your own balls? Then check out my sponsor of this video, Manscaped. If you go down to the description below, click the link, have a look at Manscaped's products. Absolutely amazing, amazing products out there. Um, all to shave your balls with. So make sure you go and check that out. Josh97HD is the code to get 20% off and free shipping. So make sure you go and check them out. Link is in the description. But back to Pele. Now, he's got 92 dribbling and 93 composure as well there. Um, his heading accuracy is pretty good as well for a small player. 83 heading accuracy with 88 jumping. So he might win us some medals, lads. And he's got 88 stamina. Um, his strength and aggression, mm, his strength's okay, aggression not so much, and he does only come with the finesse shot trait as shown there. Um, this was his base card when he was just 15 years old. I mean, this man clearly was brilliant back in his day, one of the greatest in the world, if not the greatest. I'm sure a lot of you guys do think that, um, but personally, the GOAT for me is Lionel Messi, um, as you can see in the background there, my Lionel Messi PSG shirt. Um, maybe an unpopular opinion, but I do like the man, and I've actually watched him, so yeah, that was a big moment for me. But anyway, Pele, let's get on into the clips and see if this man is worth his massive price tag at the moment of nearly 3 million coins. So here we go, into match number one, and it's a pretty nice team. Someone else, I think this is the first time I've actually seen someone who did Pareo, so GG to you. I really like the card, and I'm glad I did it, because he's a great super sub. I know that when Icon Swaps come out, if we have a Liga untradeable objective, he's going to be in that team, so he's going to help with that. Oh, here we go. It's a great run from Pele. He cuts inside. Finesse, it's a great save. Well, his first attack of the game, lads, and it was a decent one at that as well. Oh, lovely dribble run here. Oh, unlucky, unlucky, but his dribbling already feels absolutely fantastic. We find some space, and the goal's in, the goal's in, and it was a finesse. Using that finesse shot treat, what a goal that was. I was just saying, his dribbling was absolutely fantastic. He does feel amazing on the ball. Um, very similar to the likes of Messi. Uh, he feels better than Messi just because I think the pace that he does, the dribbles in. Obviously, Messi doesn't have the same pace as this guy. Um, but yeah, so far, so good from him. He's playing really well, and then this guy's going to go and score. No, he's not, because Ter Stegen's a GOAT. Oh, we find space with him. Oh, this man, this man is on point, lads. What a goal that was with his weak foot, but it's not weak foot. Has he got five star or four star? I think he's got 
five star, hasn't he? I'm not 100% sure on that, so I'll have to double check. But so far, so good from him. We pick him out there as well. He has a lovely header. We peel it back to him, and it's another finesse effort. But this time, it doesn't go in the back of the net, lads. But that one does! Oh my god, he doesn't stop scoring! It's his hat trick already within 30 minutes of FIFA. And I think this is why you pay nearly 3 million coins for this player. It's because he can do stuff like that. Absolutely destroy teams. That's what he's done so far in this one. Oh, this man is phenomenal! What is that? That is just filthy, lads. Absolutely filthy. Probably going to get rage quit. Yes, we are. And I'm not surprised because Pele has just torn him a new bomb over. That was amazing, lads. Absolutely amazing. Four goals in the first game. Fantastic performance from the GOAT. So here we go into match number two. And that is definitely a better team, isn't it? Ronaldo, Di Natale is going to be a tough one. I was going to say Di Maria. Get in! Pele, he's got us on level terms yet again in this game. What a run. He was in the right place and a little dink over Donnarumma to finish it off. What an attack that was. Get in! Pele gets a hat trick in this one and sends us in front in the 96th minute in extra time. The absolute GOAT. What a goal. Again, amazing run from him. He's still going even in extra time um, and proving why he is worth those coins. I mean, two games, two hat tricks, man. That's incredible. Pele finds Fakir. Great assists. And hopefully that is going to close the gap completely. Close him out. Finish. Done. Oh, what a performance from him. Honestly, he is absolutely game-changing. And I understand why now he goes for so many coins. So we do end up winning this one for free. And it was to the man who's going to pick up the match ball. Pele, absolutely unreal in this game. As he was in the first game. And I'm absolutely blown away by him. I'm honest, guys. Absolutely blown away by him. Just as much as I was with Ronaldinho. They both are unreal. It's definitely a tough one to pick between the two. It really is. Uh, I'll discuss it in the player summary at the end. But yeah, very, very tough to choose between the two. So here we go into the third and final game. And it's an okay team. I mean, he has got an informed Kante. He was unreal on this game. Oh, he's found his space. Oh, I thought he would have scored the... Honestly, Dom, Dom Rummer is definitely the best keep keeper on this game. Every time I come up against him, he saves people. He really does. Oh, lovely play. Right at the last. Again from Pele. And what a finish. That's what he can provide. He provides skills, pace, shooting. He provides absolutely everything on the pitch. All right. He ain't the strongest player in the world. And his shot power isn't the greatest, but honestly, I've re it's really not affected the card. He's been phenomenal. Uh, definitely one of the best, if not the best cards I've tried this year. Absolutely brilliant he is. So we finish this one 2-2. Unfortunately, we didn't get the win in the last one. Oh, a triple hat trick in this review. But the man got, what, nine goals in three games. That's an incredible record. And by God, he was pretty amazing. So let's get on into the player summary right now. So, base icon Pele. My overall thoughts and opinions of this man. He was phenomenal. He actually got nine goals. Uh, eight goals, sorry. Not nine. Um, in three games and one assist, which is an absolutely incredible record. I really, really did not enjoy the card. I can't even friggin' words out today, lads. <laughs> um, his pace, ridiculous, absolutely fine. No problems with his pace. His shooting category is unreal. Um, even though his shot power was a bit low, didn't matter, lads. Did not matter. Um, his finesse shots were brilliant. Even though he's only got 81 curve, don't matter because he's got 99 curve when he does take a finesse. So that is cancelled out. So, yeah, finesse shots, brilliant. Very creative. His dribbling was fantastic. Um, I didn't get a chance to use his heading ability, so I can't really comment on that, but he is quite small, and I doubt you're going to win many headers, to be honest. Um, but his strength um, is okay. 
you know, it's not the best in the world, but it's okay. Didn't have any problems with him at all. Um, the card on a whole is unbelievable, and no wonder he goes to so many coins on this game because he is game changing. He's absolutely lethal, and I would say he is the best player I've used on the game. Just a bit better the mid icon Ronaldinho and that is only because Ronaldinho's stamina does let him down massively and um, so you wanted to compare them to because they're both around the same price tag and you can both play them pretty much in the same positions if you wanted to and that's just a bit of a comparison for you guys so I've got to give this man a 10 out of 10 he was unbelievable and worth every single penny he's going to change your team completely if you do end up getting him lads and he really will so, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's play review. If you have, you know what to do. Smash the thumbs up button. And if you are new around here, please do subscribe to the channel for more play reviews and more FIFA content. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace!